Yeah, I'm going to say all praises and honor to you, how Barashem, Yahweh Shai, Barashem, Akar Kodash, and Dublin has to their pastors and elders of Great Men's Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there pushing truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. This is a brother from James Jamaica Camp, Yashamai, and I'm more and more my lesson on um, the kingdom of heaven and also the time that we're approaching right now. You know, we can, because right now we can clear so that we're not at a time when our faith, you know, going to get tested, yo. All of us faith going to get tested in this truth, yo. We're on the forefront, you know, pushing this truth, right? And according to the scriptures, I say, he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, yo. So if we don't continue to work unto the end, as according to the scripture, all our righteousness are basically be forgotten, right? Because we never complete the job, right? Alright, this is this Acts 14 and verse 22. And it says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exalting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shemir Shai. So we are going to go through a lot of things in order to reach on the other side, right? This is Luke 12 and verse 22. And it says, Fear not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, because the kingdom belongs to us here. You know, the Israelites. The scripture said the earth was created for our sake. Right? But we're not, we're not, we're not inherit the earth right now. The so called white man, along with this Eden, Eden nation, they are the one you know, who live a top life in this society. You know, but we're not the time now, you know, we're not going to change you. Right? We're not the time now when you have a Shemir Shai, we're going to put us back in our rightful place. Right? According to the blessing. You know, we're going to rule all nations. Right, but we know so before that happened, we're going to go through a lot of things, you know, especially with us, us you know, we're in, we're in this truth now, we push this truth. We're going to go through a lot of things in order to reach on the other side. Right? It's a second is us. Um, 7 and verse 6. And it says, There is also another thing. A city is built and set up on a broad field. And it's full of all good things, which is the kingdom of heaven. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, right? And one only part between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go go there at once. So this part is very hard, you know, um, basically, um, tried because according to the scripture, according to, according to Mark, Matthew, like according to Matthew um, 7 and verse, and verse 13, say, enter ye in at the straight gate. And the word straight basically go back to um, position of difficulty, right? For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, right? And this way of life, you know, bring nothing but death and destruction, you know, and, and to all people, right? Nothing but death and destruction in this society. Because the wicked are who in our territory right now, you know, and the wicked basically, um, blessing going back to Genesis, the blessing where um, Esau um, get from our forefather, um, Isaac, is a sword. And the sword basically bring what? Destruction, death and destruction. And that's what basically um, so called white man been doing from the time them coming to power. You know, starting from the Baja family, known as what the first crime family, you know, coming up to this time. So this way, I'm going to lead a lot of our people to them destruction. Right? So you say, And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there, many there be which go in the earth. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way we should lead it unto life. Because this part is very hard. Right? Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way we should lead it unto life. And few there be that find it. So only Elek of Yahweh Shemir Shai, you know, going to basically receive this truth and get delivered, you know, from this coming destruction. It's all about the Elek, It's all about the Elek of Yahweh Shemir Shai. Only Hillet gonna get delivered on this on this side. Right? So Mike, Micah 4 and verse 8 say, And though O tower of the flock, talking about Hillock, the Hillock of Yahweh Bashmir Shai, the stronghold 
of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come. Even the, the first dominion, the kingdom, shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Right? So it's all about the hillock. So this part is very hard, right? Because trying to live a righteous life in our wicked society is a very hard thing to do. Because you've been surrounded by what? Wickedness, you know. You know, on heavy side. Right back to back to Second Ezra again. Second Ezra um, seven and one only part between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be one go there at once. Right? If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never sh shall pass the danger set before it. How shall he receive this inheritance? So if we not go through, you know, all these things, you know, or, or, um, all the afflictions and you know, all the suffering, or we have to basically endure in this truth, or we have to basically get the kingdom, you know? So we have to work for it, you know? We have to endure all these things, right? All the things that we have to go through in this society, we have to just endure it, as scripture says. Um, I endure all things for what? The hell sake. Because we know we are going to receive at the end of the day. Right? All that we are going through right now cannot compare to what you have about Shemir Shai has given to us. Right? According to what the scripture say. Right? This is 2 Corinthians 4 and verse, verse 16 say, for, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this sufferation and all the things that we have got through in the time to come, hopefully, you know, will be basically endure until the end. Right? We hope and pray, we are part of the elect. You know, likewise, the brothers, them, you know, we are pushing through to our sincerity, you know, and all honesty. Right? Cannot compare to what you have about Shemesh have given to us here. Right? So people say, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, you know, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. So everything we are looking upon right now is just for a moment. Just for a period of time. People say, um, um, Seeing his days are determined, and the, month, and the number of his months are with thee. Thou was appointed his bone that he cannot pass. The Heavenly Father gave his so-called white man a time for rule. You know, a very, very short time. And now we come to the end of that time, right? So you get a time for rule. So everything we look upon right now is temporal. You know, very soon all these things are going to become a thing of the past. Right? But the things which are not seen are eternal. 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9. And it says, But as it is written, Eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai, had prepared for them that love him. So his eyes have not seen the things, yo. So all we are imagining right now can compare to what we are going to receive, yo. You know, better than what we basically imagine you. Right? It's a Isaiah 60 and verse 10. And it says, Let's see verse 9. So. Verse 10 say, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Right? So, these, so them, all these Eden nations are going to serve us. Right now we are work, you know, for, for so-called white man and all these Eden nations, right? But in the kingdom to come, this is how the scriptures say going to happen. They are going to serve us. We are work now while they are rest in the kingdom to come. They are going to work and we are going to rest. Right? The how of Hashem is going to basically, you know, put us back in a right foot place. Shall basically rule and them near and these Eden nations serve us. Right? So people say, The sons also of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall, mm -hmm. shall minister unto thee, 
for in for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor of I had mercy on thee. So you keep on saying, Yahweh Hashem Yerushai said, "He smote us in our he smite us in our wrath, but in our favor I will basically have mercy on us." You know, and seeing the wrath of the Heavenly Father, you know, what he do to us as a nation. You know, all the curses were put upon us. You know, we read Deuteronomy 28 from the 15th verse right down to the 68th verse. So you say, have mercy upon us, you know, because our power of a merciful power. That's the reason why you now we're receiving this truth in this time. Right? Verse 11 said, Therefore, like gates, shall be open continually, they shall not shut day nor night. Now imagine that, you. your gate will go open continually. In this society, you can't do that. Hmm? Especially in this time of living in right now. You have man and basically walk, walk, walk with a man, walk in a man's yard, uh, or rob man, you know? So bold um, people is right now, you know? See in a video with, with um, uh, one Jake, you know, walk, when I lead, walk, walk going to the, the yard, go grab a, a holy man bag, you know, and jiggy for now and she drop on the ground and gone. So imagine a life, you know, without all these things, you know. You know, if you worry about nobody, I can rob you. You know, if you worry about no, 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 um, no man, I can basically kill you in your sleep. Imagine that, you know. Right? So, you say, That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and their kings might be brought, for the na for the nation and king and kingdom that would not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So all these nations, any of them don't want to follow our ways, Kali. Say, they don't want to follow our ways and our laws. This is what will happen to them. They will get destroyed. Any of these nations don't want to follow our laws, right? Right? The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. All these Arabs that come over. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Verse 14 The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. So all these nations who despise us now, look upon us as nothing. This is how scripture says it happen. They are going to come bending unto us here. They are going to bow before us. The Israelites, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indian. Right? This is how basically I come. Right? So with that, I say all praises and honor to you. How about Hashem and Shai, about Hashem and Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of great men's stone. Shalom to all our brothers and mouth there push the truth. In our sincerity and in our honesty. Shalom.